Hey guys, Nicole, Lake Erie Prepper here. I've been a busy little bee tonight. This is my organized chaos. <laughs> Michelle came home from work and she said, What in the world are you doing? I said, Well, if somebody would get their car out of my garage and my workshop, I could work out there instead. She said, Oh, carry on in the kitchen. <laughs> I said, That's what I thought. So, I busted out all my little kits. And we've got all kinds of crap in there. This is stuff I use for my Altoid tins. And right now I'm getting into another project. I even have a workstation behind me. Yeah. So project I was working on tonight was cutting up some fatwood, getting some shavings off of drilling holes out of the fatwood, making some nice little pieces. Um, I was putting jute twine around it, and if I could find my paracord in this mess, I'm going to put a lanyard on it. And look up a video on how to do a nice little braid or something. Have never attempted that before. Uh, I'm going to do a long one. Do a few short ones. Uh, that way we can put them on keychains or whatnot. I'm going to do some in green because I found some jute twine in green. And I also was making uh, matches wrapped in TP, dipped in wax, my first attempt, and I was also making a bunch of jute twine soaked in wax for fire starters, because my aunt is coming over tomorrow, and I want to surprise her with her very own fire kit. Well, we're going to put some nice fat wood in there. For sure, for sure. Some homemade fire making stuff. And of course, we can't forget the OB tampon fire starter. Slash glow in the dark string, bow drill string. <laughs> and just been sitting here catching up on y'all's videos. Yep, look who's I was just watching. Mr. Fatwood Emporium himself demonstrating his fire piston, which is next on my, and the pocket bellow, which are two items that are next on my shopping list from FatwoodEmporium.com. So, I've been saying that I need to get some of those zip fire starters forever. Like, I don't know, Sam, Sammy got some in the mail, what, a couple months ago? And I watched somebody else's video, and they had one of those orange things, and the whole bottom of it was lined with them. I can't think of the name right now. But he swears by them, um, and I've always wanted to get some. And here I go out to the barn, or the garage, and I'm drilling, and I get in one of my toolboxes, and inside one of them, I had this box. Now, I've had this box out in my garage for probably four or five months. Didn't even know I had them, and I had them. So, I'll be putting some of those in the fire kits because y'all swear by them. So, we shall see how that goes. Uh, other than that, <laughs> I've been using my cheapo patch knife. That cost about four bucks on Amazon. I don't know, the computer's doing something weird. Brian, Brian Cape for Outdoors and Survival. Y'all have a good one. Be blessed. Have an awesome week. A great Oops. week. Sorry about that. Uh, that's basically it for me. I'm going to try to find my paracord and finish up a couple more of these keychains. Maybe I can send some off to some people. Definitely give my aunt one and get her a nice fire kit for her bug out bag that we've been working on together. Uh, that's about it for me for the night. Mm, gotta get up early for work tomorrow. That's alright. I'm saving for some some good stuff. 
All right, guys, you have a good night. I will see you in the next one. Bye.